hi, uh, my name's Tim O'Donnell. I'm with Lundberg Farms. And uh, Lundberg's a, a rice company out of California. Been in the uh, natural food industry for, oh, 30 years or so now. And probably one of the, the old line companies that uh, most people that have been there would recognize and understand. The thing I'd like to give you a little information on today would be a little of the history of Lundberg and why uh, Lundberg's rice and rice grown on Lundberg Farms is, uh, is unique and special. So if we back up to the Dust Bowl days of 1930s, the, uh, the Lundberg brothers, which you'll from time to time see on a header card or maybe on the back of a box, uh, Eldon and Homer and Harlan and Wendell, they were small kids at the time when they grew up in the Dust Bowl in Nebraska. And during that time, the area was subject to that Dust Bowl situation, which really drove uh, the need to farm sustainably into their, into their father and through their father into them. And so when they came out to California, that was a real critical part that they, uh, they held on to. It was 1937, I believe, in California and started to farm rice. And uh, in doing so, they, they started to adopt farming methods that were quite different from most of the neighbors, uh, very sustainable methods. Uh, the usual uh, off-season practice would be to burn straw. And the Lundbergs weren't burning straw, they were growing cover crops. Uh, they were enriching their soil so they'd use less chemicals and this predates organic farming but even at that time uh, they would minimize chemical use just because they didn't need to because the farming practices they were using were just healthier when the natural food business kicked in in the 60s they uh, they decided to break away from delivering their rice just to large co-ops and to market it themselves because they thought they had something that was unique and that generally the, the customers out there would appreciate so organic short grain rice was the first product. It lasted quite a few years and uh, products have expanded quite a bit since then. So if you look at our product line now, rice is now about half of what we do. And we make up uh, the rest of the, the business with uh, rice cakes and rice chips and rice syrup, uh, rice pasta now. Uh, we've got some ready to eat rice items and more items are always being developed. Rice is a pretty versatile product. It can go into quite a few different items. So uh, of all the, the rices Lundberg sells, I, I talked about short grain brown rice being really where we started. Uh, this product is probably our premier product now, Wild Blend. It's sold uh, in more places of distribution probably than any other because it does tend to lend itself to gourmet stores and, and certainly the natural stores. But uh, it's a delicious product, very colorful, very festive. And uh, again, it's, it's probably available for sale in more places than any other rice item for us. So Lundberg Farms has been in the rice cake business for uh, a good 20 years. We followed uh, uh, the original company, Chico-san, if anybody's been around that long, uh, into the rice cake business. And uh, again, when we decided to do, do the product, we decided we'd take a, a quality approach to this. And uh, what we do is we put a lot more rice in our cake than anybody else. If you went to the Quaker rice cake, you would find their bag of rice is, uh, is going to be about four ounces. You can see this one's 8.5 ounces, 13 cakes, 8.5 ounces. Uh, so essentially every rice cake has got more than twice the rice in it, giving you a very dense crunch. And uh, those people who who connote rice cakes with styrofoam, they haven't tried our rice cakes. These taste good. Uh, and they've got uh, a lot of versatility. You can put various things on them or we have enough flavors that taste just great all by themselves. We had the opportunity to get into some uh, some snack products, rice chips. And this was, uh, this was a really good move for us. We've been into this business for about five years now and it has uh, gone from nowhere to about 15% of our business. It's whole grain brown rice, rice flour, and uh, it's actually very much like a tortilla chip, only really made from rice. So you get the health benefits of brown rice and uh, quite a tasty little snack. Uh, we've got six flavors, always working on a few more. But the sesame seaweed is one that uh, usually wins out on people's taste tests. These days, uh, gluten-free items have become very popular. And uh, as you know, brown rice is gluten-free. Several years ago, we, we got involved in making pastas. Recently, we've repackaged these. We've added the new uh, elbow. Again, you've got your whole grain brown rice 
in a pasta form. So you can uh, you can mix up uh, the versatility of the brown rice, keep it in your diet, and have it at different uh, occasions. So we've got uh, four different shapes to the pastas, and they're all quite good. Here's one of the more recent products we've come out with. This is uh, simply cooked brown rice, pre-cooked brown rice. That's been done by uh, an Asian company, actually in the U.S., that only cooks rice. And uh, I'm glad that we found them because they know how to cook rice really quite perfect. So this, uh, this is simply our raw rice that's gone through a cooking process and then a retort process so that this will remain shelf stable uh, for up to, I think, two years. I think we put a year on the shelf, though. Uh, and it's simply uh, break the seal and microwave it or open it and put it into a stir fry or a, a vegetable dish or what have you it's ready to go cooked rice so extremely convenient and uh, we have three flavors a long grain a short grain and then the country wild